Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel where I play video games badly. Today we are going to be continuing our platinum playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. A quick note as we're going through this video, if you catch anything that I have done incorrectly or could have done better or just completely missed, please feel free to put it in the description below. I do want these to be as close to a 100% walkthrough as possible. While you're down there, go ahead and put a like on this video. It really helps to push these out into the algorithm and grow the channel. Uh, also, please hit that subscribe button if you want to get notifications of any future videos in this series. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know my that the River of Lights Earth. possesses such power. Plus, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. So? They have yet to be so fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. So, where are you taking me, old man? Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... ...sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. I mean... But yeah, that's why we're here, right? And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. <clears throat> Well, I guess that didn't go very far. Oh, oh, it's an elevator, so we can go down, right. Let's say, that wasn't a very deep cave. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them, but they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor, 
She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Oh, oh. I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. So we're playing as Red. With only Barrett to accompany. Why Barrett, I wonder? Why would Cloud make it meaningless? Well, this is an oddly shaped vending machine. Sure, we'll take our mega potions and road warrior bangle. Sure. Hey, old Nanaki, since this is your trial, you get the bangle. I don't think we need to rest right now. I mean, we just kind of started. Make sure that you are well prepared. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> I guess Bugenhagen's my this? third party member. This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. Oh shoot, I didn't put a test on it. Alright, now that we've got a test, let's uh, continue on. Look here. Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Approach glowing surfaces and scamper along walls. Stop moving or press circle to drop, but remember to watch where you land. Jesus, I can like climb all these walls. Dang. So yeah, you legitimately just like run up them just like they were um solid ground. Wow. Is that only here or can I have I always been able to do that? Hmm. This place has given me the creeps. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vale. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Heck are these things just giant spiders? Only got two legs here, you know. Revival earrings, okay.
Up here we get a Mega Mist Potion. Looks like there's more up there I might be able to find. I'm not entirely sure how I'm just running on solid, you know, vertical surfaces, but hey, whatever. You can gnaw the rope to open the door. So then I guess we'll just head on through this door to the next area. Oh my. Let's see what's up here. Damn if that doesn't look like Oh no, right, Barrett? Uh, looks like there is a chest over on that other ledge, though, so let's run along the wall until we get on over here. I've only got two legs here, you know. Let's see, and this chest gives us a celestial bangle. Brings us to the Chamber of Folly. Ooh. Alright, let's just keep on going down. Hey! Where'd you run off to? Above that archway, we've got another chest with a time worn talisman. Says I would stress that you uh, mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Namaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Okay, well that was cryptic AF. Uh, see, so press and hold L2 near an object to grab it. Release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to drop it. Grab the Gi artifacts scattered around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. Oh! Okay, I thought that was something to pick up. No, that's a bone. 
That's a, a shield and an axe. So we'll go to Bugenhagen, drop it. That is but a mere bone. Oh, well then, can I have it? We can play fetch. Alright, uh, what is this? What is it? Is it a ball? It it is. It's literally a ball. We went from a stick to a ball. Nay, that is not the relic we seek. Oh. Oh, oh. oh sorry. I haven't slept well of me. Really? This is like my final exam of life, and you're taking a nap? Dude! Memories of war. The hour of our awakening draws nigh. I think that might be something. Well, if it isn't an E arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body. Slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. The key warrior's charm increases limit gauge. Sure. It's a relic of my past. Let's hold on to it. Well, it's my past, but. Alright, let's try climbing the walls. Shall we? Oh, well that's freaking materia. Heck yeah. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. And it's pretty well leveled up, too. Well, there's another platform on this side. Let's see what's up there. A club. Alright. Nay, that is not the relic we seek. This is... I'm not sure. But I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about up here towards the front of the room? It looks like I can get up here. I get a collar I found a collar ah yes an armament of the vein the carvings on its hilt should look familiar indeed you'll find the very same markings on your own body obtained mystic collar for red ability watchers spirit Deplete Vengeance Gauge to increase Ally ATB. Potency proportional to amount of expense. Activate when the Vengeance Gauge is full. I should probably learn how to use the Vengeance Gauge. Alright, so what's on the other side? Nothing. But I can get up further. Uh, that looks like what I'm after. Ah, a remnant of our struggles, of our desires. 
Yeah, I think this is it. Get rid of that thing! Exploiting their elemental weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with healing spells will pressure them. They spin spears to deflect all ranged physical attacks, hitting them with strong close range physical attacks while they're doing this will pressure them. They will not remain dead so long as a key sorcerer is present. So once we find a sorcerer, kill that first. Gotcha! That specter you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. I guess we just take it with us. Oh, we gotta put it down in order to attack. Five exquisite feast hives. Everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. If everything has a reason, then everything has no reason? Really, Bugenhagen? Find all of them. Well, 
This one's kind of easy. Oops. Triangle. So now where's the green one? I came this way because I saw a, tre a chest. Or I thought I did. Damn it, that doesn't look convenient. Barrett left the party. Oh wow. Well I guess I'm on my own from here. Are you gonna come alive and attack me? <laughs> guess not. That scared me. Come closer, that we may have our There was a chest over here. Plume of Phoenix down. Okay, so what's on down this way? Let me grab my bone. Can I jump down? Yeah. Fortification materia. All right. Always pays to explore, doesn't it? Uh, can't make it all the way back up to Barrett there, though, so we're gonna have to walk uh, back the other way. Many millennia ago. 
This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Malaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. down there. Can I just jump down there and get it? Alright, well I guess I'll have to go the long way. Looks like there's at least a chest down here, if not a weapon. Where do I get to that weapon at, though? Oh, I thought I fell off. Here it is. Alright, well after that, we finally get to this weapons chest, which is a Calamitous Bazooka. How about it, Barrett? Feel like laying the smack down? Strike the ground and send nearby enemies flying. Proficiency bonus to strike two or more enemies. Oh, uh, you gotta put something up on that beard. Perhaps find another statue.
think I was wrong. What's this? Oh, all you gotta do is pull the chain, huh? I'll try to hook it onto something, though. Resourceful, you've become. Or just locked. Resourceful? You just pull the chain; it opens the door. That's not resourceful. That's just kind of how doors work. They evade all basic attacks and offensive abilities, but become unable to do so while pressured, casting spells, or resurrecting fallen key. So, if we... I don't have fire. Dang it. Um... There we go. We beat them. Try up here first. I only got two legs here, you know. It's not my fault. Try growing a pair.
All right, we got the empowerment material before battle started. Not entirely sure how to get to the next area, but I think it involves going this way. That'll open up that bridge. Those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. My cotton is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Malachi, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. There's that treasure chest we saw from the distance. I'll take 2,000 gil. Heck yeah. Is that all that's up here? Oh, I guess I didn't need to pull any other levers. Alright, so we're gonna have to grab this little twig, put it here on, whoops. Oh, whoops. Okay. It fell off the edge, but it came back. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, devs, for creating a failsafe for idiots like me who throw key items off into the abyss. <laughs> does look pretty cool. I'm not sure what this bench is doing here, but I'm guessing it has something to do with a boss battle coming up. Oh neat! He just lays down on it. That is so cute! So yeah, I'm just going to assume that this is a boss battle. No. 
what is it? Then I will manifest once more. Do not underestimate this foe. Gene, that's hot. an axe to grind. How the hell did this thing piss it up? Alright, inflicting enough damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. Staggering Gene Attack will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. Um, no weaknesses, no way to pressure him. Um, okay. In the original Final Fantasy, Ginatok was weak to potions and heal spells. And you could actually kill him with an X potion. I don't think we can do that here though. It does do a thousand damage though, and pressures it.
interesting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. I am kind of glad they took out that cheese, though. If you can just kill him with an X-Potion, that would be stupid. I am glad they kept in that the potions uh, can be used against him to, to help pressure him, though. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone, and there he has stood ever since. His watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mamaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youth. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. And no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become new to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto, protector of our veil.
Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, it really helps push the channel out into the algorithm and helps it grow. Uh, also, please hit that subscribe button to be notified of any future installments in this series and any future series that I do. Uh, once again, I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.